Welcome back. Um, today's lesson will be on how to clean up our Google Drives. Right now there's a whole bunch of files in there. They might be organized, they might not be, and sooner or later it's going to look just like your locker. Just a big old crammed mess of winter stuff that we need to get out of there. So anyway, um, today's lesson is how to clean up your Google Drive. So stick with me. Let's take a look. All right, here we are in our Google Drives. I've created a like a dummy student uh, drive, so uh, I'm hoping this looks more like what yours uh, appears to be. I, like you, have, of course, the Team Handouts folder, and when I open that up, that is where all my teachers have shared their handouts with me, so I can easily um, get information from them. But um, this is about the students today. So let's take a look at the organization. It is possible that your drive looks something like this with maybe a folder up top there for math or science or social studies. That's possible, but it's also possible that yours looks kind of like a jumbled mess like I've got below um, with my copy of Egyptians on down through the, <gasps> oh, an untitled document, gotta clean up that one. Anyway, uh, I don't know at what level yours looks, but I do think we're we're halfway through the year, and sooner or later, with more use, you're just going to have a huge jumble of files, a huge old mess. And uh, so again, the goal today is to clean that whole thing up. So for starters, we need to create um, a folder for our language arts class. So you can see you're in the base level where it says My Drive. You're going to go ahead and create a folder, and let's call that Language Arts. So I can have all four of my subject areas covered, and if you want to give that um, a color, you can just check on that box and choose whatever color you want, and I like to do that. So you can see off the top there, I got my language arts now, my math, my science, and my social studies, and then I could just start clicking and dragging all those documents into the appropriate folders, but then over time, this mess that you see here is going to be the same mess in all four of the different subject areas, so I found a way to clean that up too. If you can see over here, I've got my social studies class organized into four different subfolders. You can see it on this side. If I just click here, you'll see I'm in that social studies folder, and I have uh, four different folders there. Um, starting with the second one, I've got one for first trimester and one for second trimester. So any old assignments, I just I'm going to drag into those two folders. Then of course I've got my social studies assignments that are not yet turned in. We're going to call um, a folder that, so I know that these are assignments that I'm currently working on. And and then, of course, up top, I've got my shared folder, my turn-in folder that I've created with that teacher so that you can turn things in that way and share that with your teacher. So I've done that for my social studies, I've done that for my science, and I've done that for my math. And I'm going to show you how to do that with your language arts. So we're going to click on our language arts folder, and we're going to go ahead and when we're in that folder, we're going to create um, a new folder that will be called, say, first trimester do that simply. We'll go ahead and create a new folder called second trimester. This will be of course where you store again assignments that you um, are, are, are that are behind you. But let's make a third folder so we know that we have language arts assignments not yet turned in. Now there's lots of different names you could give this folder, but I really like that a name that it's not yet turned in, so it's very obvious to me, the student, that this is something I am, you know, that I'm currently working on. So let's do that, and of course let's go ahead and make that shared folder too. So maybe I've got um, Mrs. Mays in my seventh hour class, and so I start with the hour that I have, and I'm going to give it the teacher's name, and what is this? Oh, that's right, it's a turn-in folder. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. I'm going to check that box and I'm going to share that folder with my teacher. So that is done pretty simply like that. It'll be up to her to then go ahead and organize that. But as you can see then, I've got my language arts folder organized very easily, very simply. So I've got places for documents that I'm totally done with. I got a place for work that I'm currently um, working through. So let's go back to the drive level and let's then go ahead and organize all those documents. Um, 
a really neat, easy way to do that. I'm going to go ahead and open up, let's say, my social studies. And I can take, let's see, oops, Egyptians, that was really old, and Snack Shack, that was really old. I can check both of them. And I'm going to say, wow, those were both first trimesters. So I can just drag those into there. Those are gone. Um, I see a couple of math assignments in there. And maybe I could say, well, look, this is trimester three. That's a current assignment. So trimester three, I'm not done with that one yet. I'm going to put into math assignments, not yet turned in. And here's a trimester two. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one and move it into trimester two. And that's looking pretty good. I see I have at least two language arts assignments. And I think those are both current. So I'm going to drag both of those. Again, I'll check both boxes. And I'm going to put those into LA assignments not yet turned in. I'm looking pretty good there, except for that that untitled document, and that is never acceptable. So what do we do? We just click on it, see what it is, kind of give some kind of an assessment. Oh yeah, I remember this. And go ahead and click on Untitled and give it a name. There we go. Gifted stuff. Um, and gifted stuff, I think that belongs back in Mrs. Mays's class too. I think I did that in second trimester. So anyway, um, you can see how easy it is to create folders within folders. So I created the language arts folder. I created all four of those folders. It took just a few moments of my time. And then just by clicking and dragging, I've got all of my assignments in different folders. Everything is nice and clean and easy to find. And I am going to be quite successful with this new mix. So that's about it. Thanks for checking in. Um, let's get this done. And let's be better students today. Pop back anytime.